We have one more thing. We love to integrate hardware, software, and services seamlessly. We've been working incredibly hard on an entirely new product. And we believe this product will redefine what people expect from its category. The Apple Watch, a technological marvel, a device that has revolutionized not just the smartwatch market, but also the watch market, has a major issue. And that issue is Tim Cook. Look, I don't work for Apple and I don't have the inside scoop for anything. I just talk based on what I see. And what I see is based on recent leaks and rumors of the Apple Watch 10. By design or by oversight, the creators of Apple are holding back its true potential. In many ways, the story of the Apple Watch can be likened to the first two acts of the tortoise and the hare. A classic fable where a hare confident in its speed mocks a slow moving tortoise and challenges it to a race. During the race, the hare becomes so overconfident that it decided to take a nap, believing it has plenty of time to win. Meanwhile, the tortoise continues to move steadily and eventually crosses the finish line first. The Apple Watch is far and away ahead of its competitors in the smartwatch market. And in this superiority, the Apple Watch may soon find itself supplanted by its competitors by playing it safe and slow with its clear advantage. The iPhone was the undisputed origin point, the big bang that launched the smartphone market into the stratosphere. Today, today Apple is going to reinvent the phone. And from that point, every major tech company has thrown their proverbial hat into the ring. And in this stiff competition, the iPhone has thrived, never stepping so far ahead of its competitors that Apple has allowed the competitors to do the innovating and Apple has greatly improved on said innovations. A genius strategy, making their products seem much more put together and thus consistently moving forward to not be passed up by its fellow hairs. Then we come to the Apple Watch, Tim Cook's very own Big Bang, his baby to mirror Steve's iPhone. And in this, we see a similar launching point. The Apple Watch undisputedly started the smartwatch business. But while the iPhone thrived in the cutthroat race of best supercomputer you can fit in your pocket, always having to move with its competitors to never fall out of contention, we've seen that the Apple Watch has had a far easier road to supremacy, with its only big contender being the Galaxy Watch. And we've seen how that turned out. But with new competitors popping up, like the Pixel Watch and the OnePlus Watch, much like the titular hair, Apple may find its supremacy the path to its own fall from grace. If each new Apple Watch is just slightly a new iteration of the last. Now, I don't, and no one else should deny the amazing things that have come out of the life and times of the Apple Watch. A device that has literally saved lives. But I have to ask, with the rumors swirling around about the Apple Watch 10 making no significant changes, visual or otherwise, to its design and makeup, is Apple settling for less with its particular device and its coterie of overpriced Skynet precursors? Because it knows that it's so far ahead of its competitors and its loyal fans will simply buy it no matter what it improves or doesn't improve. I ask this question for a simple reason. With Apple's near endless well of resources and money to pull from, should we as the consumers be worried that their lack of initiative with this one device is a sign that any significant progress they make on other projects will make them settle into all too familiar complacency? Because let's be honest, if I'm gonna pay my life savings for a watch, I should be able to shoot lasers out of it, right? Like out of the spy movies. 